What's your special interest in conifers? Are you a grower or a seedsman? If you are either of these, then you are probably looking for a reliable source. This means you might be looking for the best seeds, healthy transplants, the best match for your growing conditions, or the best chance for a consistent harvest. You might be interested to see where Jim is improving each point. Where do your needs begin? Reliable Source can connect to any of your seed and transplant needs. Jim Rockus loves what he does. He started his business from scratch, which means he has physically done all the facets of the trade. Formerly an engineer, he uses engineering principles to design machinery that improve the cleaning process of seeds. This allows him to consistently output reliable seeds. Let's take a look. Jim's success comes from connections to individuals with years of experience and expertise. This collaboration is evident through the entire process from seed collection to final delivery. The process begins with seed collection. First, Jim locates specimen trees, such as the Fraser fir trees from the Ayers Seed Orchard, Mitchell County, North Carolina. Then he hand collects cones from these specimen trees with genetically superior qualities. When orchard seed is unavailable, wild seed is collected from wild trees and boom lifts from provinces like Roan Mountain on national forest property. You might be thinking, what are my benefits of genetically improved seed? Generational improvement. One, maximum growth. Two, good color. Three, good conformation. Then the cones are transported to Jim's process facility in Morgantown, West Virginia. Special attention to detail using identification tags on each bag is used from beginning to end. During the next phase, the cones are processed and germination tested. Only about 50% of the seeds make it through the germination testing that includes percentage purity, seeds per pound, moisture percentage, and germination percentage. The processing goes in the following order. One, first cones are dried. Two, then cones are tumbled, creating mulch. Three, the mulch is then air screened for seeds. Four, seeds are then upgraded to ensure better seed quality. This is removing empty, damaged, weak, and immature seeds to improve the performance of the seed lot. Five, an air screening process completes the seed sizing stage. Six, next is the seed lot testing and sampling. One, the traditional cut test is used to give a visual estimate of the seed's characteristics for germination. Two, x-ray radiographs are also used to measure the seed quality. In this method, a sample of seeds are exposed to x-rays that pass through the seeds and produce a black and white photograph called a radiograph. The radiograph helps make an estimate of the amount of seeds that will germinate. Seven, the germination estimates allow Jim to calibrate the gravity table in order to upgrade the seed lot if needed. Why is this important? Well, this is important because certain growing systems require ultra clean seed, such as greenhouse plug producers. At this point in the cycle, customers may purchase seeds. The other option for seed is to be stored frozen at zero degrees Fahrenheit and used at a later date. So how do you supply your transplants? Our plants are produced from plugs greenhouse grown in the Pacific Northwest. Soil being the most important ingredient in seedling production is the main reason for choosing a nursery site in Washington State. The temperate climate, long growing season, proper timely fertilizer applications, and plenty of deep well mountain fresh water provide for maximum growth and livability. All these conditions plus superior seed create quality transplants that Jim Rockus brings to the East Coast. Terry Smith oversees the first stage in Washington State. He grows the seeds in a greenhouse until they are three to six inches tall. Ken Schultz supervises the next stage. He plants the plugs in bare root transplant beds at his farm, Snowshoe Evergreen. This transplanting results in better root systems because the transplant beds allow more growing space. They remain here for one to two years 
depending on the age class being grown. During the dormant period, transplants are lifted, graded, and packed for shipping to the East Coast. The key to East Coast shipping is Ken Schultz's strict attention to detail. Transplants are kept frozen between 26 degrees and 30 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to allow air circulation patterns, boxes of transplants are meticulously stacked. This keeps them held to maximum dormancy while keeping stored energy release held to a minimum. What does this mean to me? This means that you will receive transplants with lush, slightly damp, large root systems. Each transplant's energy will be stored, allowing it to flush when planted. Its growth will explode roots first and then the top. Back on the East Coast, Jim continues to pay strict attention to detail by transporting seedlings in refrigerated vans and storing them in state-of-the-art cold storage facilities in Fairchance, Pennsylvania. At this point, transplants may be purchased. Many customers buy the transplants for replanting. In about six to 10 years, these transplants could be harvested and sold as bald and burlap trees, perhaps to housing developers or commercial landscapers. Harvested trees could also be sold as Christmas trees. Other end products might be wreaths, boughs, or swags. How do I know which species is best suited to my growing environment? Jim can give expert advice on species to use for your specific soil conditions and climates. Please feel free to ask for advice. Reliable source seeds and transplants. A dependable network of experienced growers offering you a reliable source of conifer seeds and transplants.